Jolie here, four seconds out with Tyler Denny. Fighting out of Rowley Regis. You've done your people proud tonight. Congratulations, 13th win of your career against Derek Osazi. Real tough fight. You won 97-93 on the judges' scorecard. Fantastic fight. Yeah, great fight, great fight. Like I say, credit to him, but I believe before the fight, I'll say the interviews, I'm a level above, and I've, I've um, you give me that 12, though. Oh, was that? And uh, I, um, I've showed it tonight. But I was a bit of boxer, and I showed it. It was coming with the aggression. And I stepped, I pushed him back at times as well when I needed to, just to let him know you, you can't dictate to me. Do you know what I mean? Were they some of the things you worked on in training? Yeah, definitely. The plan was outboxing, frustrate him, and then pull it on him. And I've done that, but then I realised when I was on the back foot countering him, I made him look silly. Do you know what I mean? So stick to what works. If it's working, don't change it. I think you surprised a lot of people tonight. Um, not in my own camp. In BCB, everyone knows how good I am. And, and they know, they see it every day. They see me splash, um, sparring like British level, world, world level, world level people daily. So I knew what I was capable of. And like I said, I showed my level above. Who are those people, British level, world level, that you have been? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, Zach Parker. Zach Parker's number one in the world, WBO, super middle. We've got Ricky Summers. We'd, we get great sparring in from everywhere, do you know what I mean? Um, it's it's a great gym, the, the gym's buzzing. And, I've got, and everyone's getting their success and I want my peace now. Does it help having so many people in the stable at BCB? Obviously, a lot of them are thriving right now as well. Yeah, it's like, even when they've not got a fight, I'm in their camps, do you know what I mean? So I'm training hard with them, even on the circuits and anything, I'm pushing myself. And like, I have to stay ready because I don't want to lose a round in sparring to them. It's competitive, man, with healthy, healthy competition sort of epitome of why boxers shouldn't take losses too seriously because you've had losses you've had draws yeah. and now look at you, you've beat someone that like a lot of people thought you wouldn't and it wasn't like a, it was like probably 60 40 in, in favor of Derek is is that something that you're sort of proud to have done because you know yeah. some people who take losses will think that's the end my last fight was a split decision in London against a guy from London way so I believe they won that for the English title line of yeah respect to him and you know, but I believe I won that fight. I believe I should have been English champion, but you have to dust yourself down and go again, man. Would you fight for the English now, or is it onwards and upwards from where you are tonight? I'll fight for anything, man. I was going to get some money where the money is at, man, because I've been in this game, I've, I've, done, I've done my service, really, the little fights and stuff. I want some big fights. And what do you make of Fight Zone as a whole? Obviously, fighting outdoors, it's very different to what you usually expect. I was buzzing, man. I was buzzing with it, like the whole setup of it. Especially now it's getting dark and you see the lights and that like it's, it's spot on. Even like on the app, I've been watching the apps and stuff and the previous shows and honestly, like credit to everyone who's involved, man. It's, it, it's a big thing. And it was very entertaining for everyone to watch tonight. Was it entertaining actually being there? I saw you sort of like trying to jeer up the crowd yeah, towards yeah. the last few rounds. I loved it, man. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if you thought it was just going to pressure me and I was unfit or something, but I could have done some more rounds, man. I feel fit as a fiddle. Best shape in my life. and. Just, I'm just buzzing, I was on the next fight already, do you know what I mean? Uh, you seem confident when the bell went yeah, for the, the last bell. Were you in any worry at all that you didn't have the decision yeah, in your hands? I, I, I said, I've, sure, I've won that. I knew, I'd win it. I knew I was winning going into the last round and I boxed it off the last round. I think he got a point off. Was that the last round or the round before as well? Um, but because of my last fight, did you get a bit nervous? I said to a call, what do you think? Because I thought I won the last fight and I never got it. But, you know, that one was clear. I wanted to make sure I was clear. And like, because he was in the home corner and stuff and little things like that, I was thinking, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be too close and give him a reason not to give it me. And last of all, what were the sort of words you were getting in your corner towards the end of the fight when it seemed to be going in your favour? But what were you getting told? Just stay off the ropes and box his head off, man. Do you know what I mean? Because when I was boxing and moving, I, I, I was a level above. When when we was close inside, it got a bit 50-50 then. Do you know what I mean? But he didn't need to be 50-50. Box his head off, move, and make him look silly. You did a great job tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.